Welcome to another episode of Mexican in the Kitchen. I have some water boiling here already with some salt. It's boiling on a medium fire, so a three or four out of six. You can use any part of the chicken you prefer. I would recommend maybe the tights, the legs are quite uh, good for this, but you can also use chicken breast, you can use wings, anything you like. We'll just put it here, we'll boil it for 45 minutes. If you use the chicken with skin, some people prefer that, some people remove it. It depends on what you like. I will add an onion and a couple cloves of garlic. Some people might like to add celery or some other vegetables, that's also up to you. I like celery because it gives a, a nice flavor, but some people don't like it, so it's really up to you. After 45 minutes you can take the chicken out, it's gonna be ready. We will reserve also the water, it will be a bit of a chicken broth, it depends on what you use, it will be stronger or milder, but we will reserve that water because we will use it later. I'm using the Doña Maria Mole, I got it from Las Tunas Dorefy, check them out, I'll leave the link in the description, they have great products. But no matter what brand you get, the process will be very similar. I'm taking all the contents of the cup into the pot, the pot is on a 3 or 4 out of 6 on medium fire, it's a bit warm already, it's not completely hot. As you cook the paste, all the chocolate will start melting and we want the paste to melt a bit because it will be way easier to mix with the chicken broth. So just move it around, make sure it doesn't burn. You will notice how it starts becoming softer. Once your paste has melted and you notice it's really soft, we'll add the chicken broth. Usually the package will tell you how much chicken broth you have to use. This package says use the same container and add three and a half times the chicken broth. So that's what I'm going to do and it doesn't matter if you add a bit more because anyway if it becomes too liquid you can always just keep warming it up and reduce it to the texture you like. Once you've added the chicken broth you can start moving it. Just make sure it doesn't burn, keep moving it around, Keep uh, try to get rid of all the lumps. Don't worry if it looks like it's too liquid because it will slowly start getting thicker and thicker until the texture is right. This is the texture I like, it's really thick, it's very rich, you will have a really nice sauce. Some people prefer it a bit more liquid, that's really up to you. Just taste it and once the sauce is right, then you can take it off the fire and serve already. If you shredded your chicken, then this is the point where you can throw it into the same pot, just mix it and serve. The traditional way to serve this dish is putting the chicken on a plate and then you cover it up with the sauce. This dish is also very commonly served with rice because then you will have something else to eat the sauce with because basically the star of this dish is the sauce. The texture and the flavors of this sauce are really special. Every time I've made it for someone here in Europe, they really like it, it's so different to what people are used to, it's a really nice experience. Maybe for some this dish might not be very visually appealing, but then when you add some of these sesame seeds on top, it becomes a really beautiful dish, really nice, very traditional. This is probably the signature dish of my city, my hometown, and I would say it's a dish that is associated to parties and celebrations, because at least in my hometown it's very common if you have a birthday, if you have a graduation or some special event. It's very common that your mom or your grandma will prepare this dish, invite the family over, gather around the table. So I hope you liked the video, try it at home, subscribe, press like, all those kind of things, activate the bell so you get notifications and I'll see you next one.